not necessarily a customer facing agent, so I've, uh, he's passing back to me to, to contact you basically. Oh, no, no, yeah, I'd like to speak to an engineer because it's not possible um, that this is anything to do with my equipment or BT's equipment. It has to be your really end. Sorry, darling. Can you say that again for me? You're starting to crack up. Oh, sorry, yeah, well, I've not got the again. best handset line, funny enough. Um, and I've got a phone coming through, but I'm just ignoring it. The. Um, okay. Yeah, yes, someone technical, technical should be able to acknowledge straight away that it can't possibly be a problem with uh, the equipment because of all the other things that are working. Mm -hmm. So yes. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> um, obviously, I'm, I'm going on based on what my colleagues have said and obviously I've not been part of the whole situation, mm -hmm. so I'm coming into a quite fresh face. Okay. Um, given, the, given what I've seen from the engineer's report, um, the details that I can see on the account and the billing side. Oh, so can I just pause you a minute? I'm getting multiple calls from everywhere that can possibly try and click yeah, um, no, no. plus net. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, obviously I'm, I'm quite frustrated with this. So having gone on the engineer's report oh. that I've seen today, or the, the one that I've read today from, from, from the last engineer, um, from the advice oh. from my senior colleague, um, who we got, well, he's a false agent, so they're sort of, I'm tech, he's sort of tech point two, if that makes sense. Okay, yeah. Um, and from the billing side, in regards, obviously there was that issue with the uh, with the credit limit, the phone credit limit that looked like it had been reached and capped at. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is just purely going on from what I've seen today and what is I've said of the situation. Mm -hmm. I've spoken to a false engineer, a, sorry, a false agent who's who's had a look at the engineer's note. No, excuse me, had a look at the engineer's note um, and tried to be able, but hasn't been able to. At, th at this moment in time, we're saying that the charge stands. Now, obviously, I know that you've had the two engineers out, but at the moment it is looking like it was two It's the same engine. I, well, I, I, all I, I'm not sure because basically the first time, I had a decorator in, so I wasn't in to see the first one, but the same oh, decorator okay. that was there with the same, the, well, the, I got the impression from the, uh, um, from the decorator that it was the same guy. The at second the time. time. It's looking like it's a different one. Okay. Unless different codes are used for some unknown reason, at this moment in time it's looking like it's a different person. Right, okay. Um, but you but one thing can you please acknowledge for me whether or not you're able to see if there have been any outbound calls from my account on the days that the visit um, day engineers came let's have a look bear with two minutes to confirm what date the engineer said it was let's have a look yeah so it's the 14th of January it shouldn't be too hard because there hasn't been any for ever <laughs> until uh, there hasn't been any outbound calls since you blocked it So if you scroll back through the dates before either of them visited, because I can't, well, if I scan back through my calendar, I can probably yeah. find the exact days, but you should be able to go back beyond those days and see that there has been no outbound calls. So how did they test outgoing calls? Honestly, they can't. Me. They can't have. I don't know. But it's not a no, no, is that literally, that's like... like <laughs> it's just because I have not, have not had that sort of training. But it's not really a training situation. It's not, it's not even a training situation. They can't, they have not tested the issue. There has if they have tested the issue, it failed. Do you understand that? I appreciate that. I okay. Appreciate it, 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 I appreciate it's not very clear, and I absolutely understand that. I mean, there, there's a reason why we see engineers for 28 weeks of training. They, they are they are educated with an no they're not because i the one i met i was very frustrating having a conversation because i was trying to explain that this thing whole system over here works that we have super fast working broadband all the time and when we pick up the he even said that the phone sounded good the phone signal sounded good so yes he was on a, I don't i don't understand quite why he got it in his well he got it in his being in his bonnet because he wanted to blame the wire going around the house to the where the television was which I didn't want him to fiddle with, but in the end, we just said, okay, well, we can disconnect all of that system and just go back to the box, which he did, and he didn't dial out. So he spent the whole time, first he was testing all the other things and he was showing me that the signal was good. And I thought, well, well no, the signal's good because I'm getting good BT in, I'm getting good broadband. And I don't know, can you check on your system whether or not what our download rates are? Are you able to see when I'm using data and how much I'm using? Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. so you can see that I'm using lots and lots of data. So you can see, yeah. therefore, that my system isn't bringing in any dirtiness to a level which should cause any kind of problem because I'm using lots and lots of... I'm watching Netflix in 4K successfully. So that's obviously not going to be my kit either because I'm watching Netflix. 
So if there is a wire, because you need the two, well actually you need one wire for data, but you need both wires for the audio component. So if any of those wires are mudded at my end, it's not going to stop a phone call from going out. And the other thing, of course, is it, you could have phoned me on my house number and I would be having this conversation clear as day with you. So if you'd like to test that, you can see there is no way you can have a phone set that is going to connect in, but not out from a wiring point of view. It's not possible for my house to create a system where I can't dial out with a basic handset. If I had a phone that like blocks outgoing calls, yeah, fine. But we use a basic, we can use a basic, well I can show, I've just recorded a video for YouTube anyway, so because I'm, I'm reaching the point where I don't think Plusnet's going to do the right thing unless it starts to get messy online. But the question then begs, anyway, that's what I'm putting to you now. You've got all the evidence you need to know full well it's something wrong with your little tick box that says blocked isn't working. Now I know enough about working with computers and Adobe, I use Adobe Premiere all the time, that often I have to do little walk, workarounds, reboot the system, close an account and restart a new account. Our IT department at work often has to start new accounts when things just stop working, they can't make it work. They close the account and they make a new one directly. That's how they resolve the issue. And probably going to be what you what guys I have to do. What I can go at is I can, I can't guarantee it's going to work, but at the end of the day the outgoing doesn't work anyway. Um, I can have a look at completely disabling the actual line medical component and re-enabling it. Yeah. Um, that could sort of, that's going to hold, mm. that's going to totally reboot the line. If that makes sense. Well, to, to be honest though, I mean, I, I want, I want, I'd, it'd be nice to have it because I like to use the phone to find my mobile phone when I can't find it. It's a mixed blessing because as you can see, as soon as you, my wife is not supposed to phone her mother in Morocco using the landline, but she's lazy and she keeps doing it and that costs us a fortune when we do it with you guys. So as you can see, you made lots of good money when our outgoing line was being made, but now that we're on the basic, you know, a fairly tight because your broadband rates have to be quite competitive, you're not doing so well. So in your best interest to get it working, I'm not that fussed. My main problem now is that you're going to try and charge me for one or maybe two 65 quids that are not my fault. I told you from the outset that it was a problem your end because technically it can't be a problem at our end. And the BT engineer lied, which you can prove already by seeing that there's no outbound calls from our phone ever. So for them to have actually tested yeah. it successfully, there must be an outbound call. Let me have a quick word with a colleague and see because that's used to deactivate the component, which I'm more than happy to give a go. Yeah. See if it'll work. Deactivate it and reactivate it. I need to get a special code to be able to do that. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. Um, so bear with me two minutes and I'll go and get that off a colleague and then we can have a go, okay? Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I'm really sorry that took a long time. We were trying to go through every single facet it could possibly be and having a look if we could disable the line and then re-enable it. Yeah. Um, that's not going to be an option at the moment, unfortunately. How about closing the account um, and opening a new one? Pardon? How about closing the account and opening a new one? We could do. That is an option. Uh, well, I mean, it's something we can definitely have a look into. If I'm honest, that's a little bit... To be honest, I don't really care completely. too much because basically the main reason... I it's like a mixed blessing. We haven't accidentally spent £150 phone in Morocco for an hour since. And we would have done today, okay. funny enough. My wife was on the... Well, some cut. My wife spoke to my, my mother-in-law somehow today on some phone. Um, and I don't know what she used exactly, but I'm guessing it would have been Skype through her mobile. So this not working probably just saved me about £68. So I'm happy okay. with that. My main problem now is the one also where it looks like where I was basically asking the question about making it work because why not? You put the ticket in, I wasn't in a hurry. Now we've had a situation where you guys escalated it to a point where beat, you made it. You decided to book an engineer twice and then you're trying to put that charge onto me. So I want to make sure one, that's cleared. That's my primary function. Um, and I've got video and I'm videoing the, I can, I can lift up a phone right now and you can hear the dial tone and you can hear me press the numbers and then it go into a kind of, by the time I press five numbers on the phone, it goes boop, which again is not something that would happen. Um, if the, it's not something that's possible of happening through my hardware other than the handset itself having some block by the time you've pressed yeah, have five. We, have we been able to try a different handset? Yeah, you know, I put an old dummy handset hardwired to the machine to, to the when he yeah. when the engineer came the second time also I don't know if they've tried to charge you twice but you shouldn't pay for the first one because they didn't even test the problem the first time right have they charged you how many times have bt charged you for an engineer visit so i'm interested in whether or not bt have charged you for an engineer's visit twice because the second time i made them do the test that they needed to do first time they didn't even do it 
honest, I don't know about that one. Um, I have, like I say, I've just come onto it today. Um, okay. I've just picked up a ticket today. Um, because you're trying to pass a charge on to me, but actually the first charge, the problem's always been the same. We cannot dial out. And the first guy never even tested that, so he shouldn't be charging you for it. As far as I'm aware, they're both classed under the same ticket, um, okay. so there's only one charge, because the, the one charge applies until it's resolved at the, uh, under the same ticket. Okay. So, um, in that respect, it's only one lot of £65. Okay. But at this moment in time, based on the advice of a, um, of a senior false agent who knows what he's on about, this charge stands. So, so can, can you put me in charge with the, in contact with the senior guy then? Because it's not actually logically possible for it not to be your end. I can't put you in touch with him at the moment, but I can see if there's someone else available. Um, he's just not available at the moment. Um, okay. Because um, obviously I'm not going to pay. Vital. There's no way I'm paying the charge. That, that's for sure. Like if, if if it ends up going to court, then it's going to be a weird one. Or my other alternative is just to completely close it out now because you guys haven't been providing me with the service, and then I will pay you retrospectively the fair bill for whatever usage up to the day, and then run a NAT cable from my next door neighbours until we sort out an alternative. That's my 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 risk. My problem at the moment is if you've taken the money, it's going to be very hard for you to get it back. I'm going to have to go through the legal set. Obviously, I'm the kind of person who won't let it stand. So my but obviously you can see from you just saying an engineer said that and by the way the engineer didn't say it was my fault necessarily he said it's something um but either the net my work either mine he also the or then there's a forward slash and then there's before the nat or whatever it was some some other which would be you guys so he didn't say it had to be me he said it could have been you guys as well yeah I'm trying to find this specific ticket at the moment, bear with me for two seconds. Okay, I've not got my computer in front of me, so it'll be on the phone, but it would be when I asked the very, very recent part of the ticket, because I asked for you to send yeah, his message, um, forward slash, and so then yeah, it was... Did, uh, fault, yeah, fault was found on the end customer wiring, uh, slash equipment beyond the NTE. Yes, that would be your um, equipment. So uh, the, well, the, the equipment beyond the NTE, the NTE is obviously the master socket. Um, so it's, it's the equipment from the master socket, from the telephone socket, to your handset. NT is the master socket. So the NT isn't, isn't in the network, and they're talking about your computer system. No, network NT is your master socket. I realise the the acronyms. If, if right. not. I, I, get, I completely get that. Um, I mean, if I just come onto this as a customer... So I the other thing then, thing was, so if the, if the, the BT the engineer NTE, is saying... The equipment beyond the NTE is from your master socket onwards. So then the other question then, so you said you're taking the engineer's word for it. The engineer yes. failed to make a full call out. The second engineer, it's still one bill, failed to make a call out from my phone line. So he didn't actually do the test. The second engineer. The second engineer so, failed to yeah. because he connected a hardwired phone. He tested mm -hmm. the actual wires, the bare wires of their system, and failed to make a call out. He was either how able to dial into his service. He's got these code systems. He starts. I could hear he had like yeah. a handset in his hand, and then he would press numbers, and then he would actually like some voice, you know, like the talking clock of the old good old days, would be saying something, yeah. and he'd press it, and it would come back with data on his phone saying how good the line was. And he'd be showing me how good the line was. So when he got to the bit where he was testing that box like that, and then we swapped it over for a phone, uh, a normal basic phone, and it still couldn't dial out. How has he now said that that works? Because. Well, I mean, there was there was a good line. If you can, sp if he, so the, the special code, the, the talking clock is something that anyone can dial. It's not something. No, I can't. I can't phone change. up anything each chargeable. So they, I, the 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 talking clock bit. Well, I'm talking about his service. So basically, your system allows calls to go out to the BT system or BT get it first. I don't know which way it goes. The moment it starts routing through you, your guys, it goes to a boop sound. I can play it for you right now. Because every single phone is no different to when it's going through my kit to through their kit. But if I pick up my phone, I'll put it on speakerphone. So that's my phone. It's got a thingy because I guess there's a message. Yeah? Now I'll start pressing numbers. I'm just going to type 01189767765. And there we go. It makes that noise. So I was just phoning, I was starting the digits for an, my home number. That's the sound I get through the phone once it starts trying to pay attention to that far. That's the noise I'm getting. 
That's the noise he got when he was plugged in straight to the wires. So, can you type this number in for me? Into my handset? Yeah. Okay. 0800. Um, I'll do it on loudspeaker as well so you can hear it. Hang on. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, go on then. 0800. Yep. 432. 432. 0200. 0200. Well, that's weird. It'd normally be doing it already. Hello and welcome to Plus. Yeah, so I can get into you guys. I just can't get out from anywhere else. So it's definitely you guys. So it's definitely you guys. Let me, let me try someone else. Spare me for two minutes. Um, uh, who can we... Uh... Well, to be honest, I don't need to hang on the phone anymore. We've proven that yeah. it's you. Spare me for two seconds. Let me just try one more number that isn't associated with either of us, uh, as in us or Open Reach or BT. Um, I mean, well, actually, to an extent, it might be BT, but spare me for two minutes. Um, let's have a look. Because I've, I've, I've got, I'm videoing all this anyway, so I'm just going to put it on YouTube, mm -hmm. and then if you guys try and charge me money, then it will, you know, for the, for, you try, you try to say that it's my problem, and it can't possibly be, then it looks bad for you guys. Legally, I would, I'd disadvise putting it on YouTube, if I'm honest, um, genuinely. Um, I mean, it's your call to make. Yeah, um, yeah no, I'm, 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 I, I forced our local council to allow filming in their public meetings because it was against the law for them to try and block it, so I'm, I wouldn't bother having that discussion with me. <laughs> All right. Um, trying to find a completely independent number. Um, you mean just like any normal. number, like it's just, just a normal random number? Pardon? Well, I just phoned in my home, just phoning, I could phone... Oh, you see, you want to find a number that's not, yeah, you. Uh, yeah, there's not, there's not really. I'm trying to find a, a free BBC number. Well, I tell you what, I could start available. phoning this. I could start phoning my mobile because it will come up engage. It will come up to my voicemail, won't it? Um. Yeah, it should do actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're on the mobile at the moment. So, but it will get. It will bail out before I get there anyway. So, o oh, seven nine six one. Get to the one. Okay. You did that before I get to um, one. If I keep pressing can you, numbers, can you, try, can you try and tell it? Can you try and do this this landline number for me? Um, it shouldn't be chargeable at all. Um, and if this number is chargeable, obviously we'll recoup the charge of that definitely. Okay. Um, can you try and type this in now? This is the Telegraph newspaper. Um, this is just their, their generic contact number. Yeah. Um, it's just <laughs> uh, newspaper came to my head to be honest. Um, oh one eight seven four. One eight seven four. No. It's Dr. Okay. Dre, yeah. 01874, and then it just does that. So it's 12345. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's five again. Um, okay. Send me two minutes then. Let me have a quick word with my colleague again, um, obviously, because I can hear that happening. Give me two more minutes, okay? Okay. Thank you. Uh,